guys welcome back to the vdc space so today we're gonna model inclined or raking columns in revit so uh, the basis of modeling inclined columns is just to change uh, parameters some parameters in in the column family or you can go with the option of creating your own inclined column families and then just load them in and then use it uh, for whatever purpose you want to use it now before i get started i would like to ask you guys to please subscribe to the channel if you are new if you already subscribed hit that notification button because i upload BIM modeling tutorials three times every week i cover different topics as you can see on my playlist so without further ado let's start with our project construction template as always i always use it so you just gonna uncheck these boxes and just extend your views and elevations because it's going to be a big building so you're going to select these views and then you're going to establish your grids so before we establish our grids let's just go to the south elevation uh, obviously i can't see anything so you can just extend your views actually go to uh, level zero establish your grids and you're gonna place your grids like this pick lines and then you're gonna offset these ones by 3000 millimeters so you're gonna place 10 of them like this and then you can just center them like that and then select your grids again and then you're gonna place other ones running across like this so you're gonna select your grids say pick lines and then set your offset to 10,000 millimeters uh, sorry 3000 millimeters So you're gonna place them like that and this is what we have so after this you're gonna go to the south elevation and then you're gonna establish your levels and you can just extend your grids like this and then i'm gonna reduce level one and make it three thousand and then select it and then i'm gonna copy another one by three thousand and then another one by three thousand so we're gonna have all in all five levels so after this as you can see it's black we have to actually make it a view so you're going to go to view under plane views you're going to select structural plane and then you're going to select all of these and say okay and your views are established and you're going to do the same thing for the floor plan you're going to select the remaining ones and say okay in this instance we're going to use structural plans go to structural plans level zero and you're going to go to structure and then place your floors so you're going to say floors under structure you're going to start with the last one which is level four and then you're going to place your floor like this and in this so you just place a dimensions on this point and from this one to this grid this one to this grid so you're gonna offset all of these by a thousand millimeters on each side except this side so you're gonna make it 1000 millimeters and also this side 1000 millimeters and then you're gonna say finish edit mode now you're gonna place another floor at level three and then you're gonna start from this grid and then towards the last one so obviously you're going to offset these and then select this one offset it by 1000 offset this one by a thousand offset this one by a thousand and say finish edit mode and then your flow again select so you're going to select the level two i think yes and then you're going to start from this grid and then until this one and then you can just adjust these offsets so they are going to be 1000 millimeters so this one is going to be a thousand enter this one is going to be a thousand enter this one is going to be a thousand enter and say finish edit mode and then i think the last one is going to be level two uh, let's go to yeah it's actually going to be level one so go to level zero and then you're going to place it from this point and then you can just drag your lines and then offset them by 1000 millimeters okay. 
So you finish edit mode, open up the 3D view, and this is basically what we have. I hope you can you guys can see where we are going with this. So you're gonna for our columns, you're gonna go back to level zero, insert, load family, metric library, structural columns, concrete, rectangular concrete, and then we're gonna go to structure and say columns. Make sure it's set to height. And then you can you gotta set it to level, uh, level one. So we're gonna select 600 by 750, and then add add uh, grids. So you're gonna select from grid 10 until I think grid five, if I'm not mistaken. So you're gonna say finish edit mode. You go to the 3D view, and this is this is how it looks. So I think that's missing one. So I'm gonna select all of these. Go to the south elevation and then i'm gonna just copy this towards this point like this so i think yeah i think that's fine so if i go to the 3d view this is basically how it looks so you have different options so if i go to level one and then go to columns you have slanted columns which you can place um you have also vertical columns which you can place so let's test it out so if i place a slanted column you can go to the south elevation uh, and then select your column and then i'm gonna set my grid to let's just go to level one so it's grid 11 and then go to the south elevation and say column set set it to grid 11 and say okay and then i'm going to select my slanted column so if i start from this point i'm gonna i can place it at an angle of 15 degrees like this and then it's going to be set like this but as you can see it looks very funny so what you can do is you're going to select align or al and then you can align it using this face and then this face like this and then you can align it from this point towards this point uh, but I think we have to change the orientation of these columns. Let's say uh, select all of these, deselect this, and then I'm going to press tab on my keyboard. And then after pressing tab, it's going to change the orientation of these. So go to the south elevation and then select all of these ones and then so that you can adjust it. So I'm going to adjust it towards this point like this. So I think that's fine. So if I go back to the 3D view and then align again, so I'm going to align it using this face and then align it like this now as you can see we are not done yet we're going to have to uh, fix this situation and how it joins towards the floors so you're going to select this column and then under modify column you're going to say attach top base and then you're going to use the attach column top first and then you're going to select the top slab and then you're going to say attach top top base again and then you're going to check this base and then you're going to touch the bottom slab and then it's going to be refined like this so obviously you can select it go to your elevation and then you can adjust it however you want so you can adjust it like this and this is basically your inclined column so this is what we have so i'm going to select this and then i'm going to copy it towards the other grid using the grid as our reference and if i open up the 3d view this is basically what we have so if i go to the south elevation select this and say copy and then i copy them like this uh, this is basically how how it looks now obviously i'm gonna go to the south elevation and then i'm gonna select these ones that are vertical and then say copy drop down the paste align to selected levels and then i'm going to select these two levels level two and three and then they are going to be copied and then this last one i can just copy them manually and constrain this and then i'm going to copy them like this so let me just select this ones and then copy them to the other grids and they're going to be set up like this and then also these ones and then i'm going to copy them so that they can transfer the load towards uh these 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 ones so this is basically how it looks that's the basis of um, inclined columns the other option is you can select the ones you have already placed which are vertical and then under your constraints on your properties we have the column style parameter which you can check we have the slanted column 
which can be angle driven and point driven so you can select it and then change the uh, the angle to 30 degrees and also as you can see you have the option to modify it using these two points i'm just gonna say undo and then also you can select it and then set it to um endpoint driven and then if you go to the your elevations you can just adjust it manually like this go to the 3d view and then as you can see you can uh, uh, modify it using the attach top base uh, or detach top top or base so i'm just gonna say undo yeah and so yeah this is what we have you want if you want this file you can actually get it from my from my patron uh, just make sure you subscribe to my patron and then you can get this file and then you can take it further you can model um, whatever uh, um, whatever uh, um, the building that you want be it if it can be a commercial if it can be an office building or a school you can use it for whatever purpose that you want so yeah i hope you guys have learned something today and i hope you can apply this logic towards your project and make sure you model as much as you can when you uh, uh, make sure you explore uh, as much as you can when it comes to revit structural components and uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next tutorial. Peace.